Welcome! At this video we are going to take a closer look to order analysis. We already discussed how rotational vibration can be measured with oxygen in a previous video. We will add this analysis function used in the machinery diagnostic to investigate our rotational vibration signal. But let's do a short review of the recorded signal first. Here we could see a run up and a coast down and we could also clearly see that at 2000 rpm at the, at the run up and at 2000 rpm at the coast down we get a clear indication of rotational vibration in the FFD spectra. In addition we could see this in the spectrogram. The spectrogram is the frequency spectras plotted versus time and we could see two hotspots here at the beginning and at the end. The first one at the beginning is reflecting the rotational vibration at the run up in this area and at the second is the at the end of the plot is the rotational vibration at the coast down. At order analysis, we draw the spectras over RPM and not over time, so we can distinguish between frequencies which follow the RPM and frequencies which do not. Those frequencies which follow the RPM are called orders. So we have here two frequency spectras versus RPM, one for the left and one for the right side of the shaft, and we could clearly see here on both sides a hot spot at 2000 rpm. When we mo move over the, the cursor on top of those hot spot, we could see that there's, there's a frequency of 34 Hz, approximately 2000 rpm, and this reflects the, the first order. The same thing on the right side. Here we have additional orders, and also when we move over the, the cursor over such an order line, we could immediately see the frequency, the speed, and in this case this line is reflecting the third order. In addition, we also have and can extract specific orders from the, from the uh, frequency spectrum. This is done on the left lower corner. Here, in this case, the first order uh, the amplitude and phase is extracted and plotted over the RPM. And also here it is clearly seen that we get an, an amplitude overshoot at 2000 RPM. But what is more important is we get also a phase change of 180 degree at this area, which indicates a clear resonance. A second way to show is, uh, is to show the order spectrum versus RPM. Here, compared to the frequency spectrum, then we show the order spectrum, so the orders are plotted versus the speed, versus the engine speed. This is, so with this diagram, it is much easier to distinguish uh, and see and investigate higher orders. In our case, the first order is the dominant order, so we only could see the first order here. But in case we are investigating gearboxes, higher orders and frequencies are present and it is much much easier to see this here in the order spectrum. This was a short introduction of order analysis of the rotational vibration signal. Thank you for your attention and See you at the next video.